Thank you for purchasing your new Synchro Wave AC-DC TIG welder. This video will walk you through the general setup procedure for your new Synchro Wave TIG welder. Before you get started, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual and always wear appropriate PPE. Turn the machine on using the power switch located on the front panel of the Synchro Wave and wait for the display to show amperage. This may take up to 20 seconds. Select the desired process. Process capabilities include AC TIG welding, DC TIG welding, pulsed DC TIG welding, and DC stick welding. Select the appropriate amperage for your application by turning the amperage dial. Next, you'll need to program your arc start type, tungsten diameter, trigger type, and pre-flow timing. These parameters are located in your user menu. To get to the user menu, press and hold the menu button until the screen displays user menu. Toggle through the menu options by tapping the menu button. To set arc start type, use the amperage dial to select either high frequency or lift arc arc starts. The default is high frequency. Next, tap the menu button and go to tungsten diameter. This is an important setting to ensure high quality arc starts. Tap the menu button until RMT appears and select the desired trigger, standard or hold. Last, tap the menu button and go to preflow. The default time is 0.2 seconds. Use the amperage dial to adjust to the desired preflow time. To exit the user menu, press and hold the menu button until it displays menu off. To fine tune the process parameters that are programmable for each process, tap the menu button. By tapping the menu button, you'll toggle through all adjustable settings for that process. When a setting is shown on the display, adjustments can be made using the amperage dial. Refer to the owner's manual for a chart with all adjustable settings and parameters. The Pro Set button is used to get you to factory optimized settings for general welding applications. By tapping the Pro Set button, a green light will appear in the upper corner and your process menu parameters will be reset to factory optimized default settings. If the Pro Set button light is on, you will not be able to adjust any of the process menu settings. When you press the Pro Set button again, the light will go off and the process menu parameters will go back to the previously used settings. Now you're ready to weld. The Pro Set button can also be used as a factory default reset. To do this, press and hold the Pro Set button until the display shows Reset Done. Visit MillerWelds.com for more information on the SynchroWave 300 and 400 machines.